Hey guys, welcome to a new episode of Conflicts. Today we'll be looking at Mayo, a gesture control armband that allows you to control devices using your hand. Now this was sent over by our sponsors at robotshop.com, which you can actually see the link below for your very own. Now literally, this thing is crazy. What it does is it allows you to control devices such as a drone, even a computer, as well as robots simply using gestures of your hand. So before we actually try it out, let's go ahead and take a closer look at the box. All right, so this here is our casing with our Mayo in it, and you can actually see it from the outside. But on the back here, it kind of talks more about it. it talks more about, like, it's got nine different uh, IMUs that track your motion as well as rotation. And then there's muscle activity sensors that actually detect gestures. So it's actually really cool, and it's a one-size-fit-all, so it kind of, like, expands. So let's go ahead and open this up. There we go. And, wow, this thing actually looks really cool. Uh, so almost looks like jewelry in a way, but actually has a very cool look to it. Now it does stretch, so it kind of fits everyone. Uh, and then over here, you actually peel this off here and you can actually see that there's an LED back here. So it just kind of like slides onto your forearm like so. Uh, and then from here, what it does is it'll actually read your arm gestures. So, you know, doing this or whatnot, it'll actually create an action based on how you program it. So we'll definitely go ahead and try that out in a little bit, but let's see what else is inside here. Now this is a looks like a way to make it bigger or looks like to open it. I'm not exactly sure what these are, but then uh, in here it kind of shows you how to get started. So just go to the website and go from there. And then we actually have, uh, looks like this plugs into the computer as well as a charging port. So very simple, very uh, clean cut, uh, doesn't look too complicated. So we'll go, go ahead and fire it up and actually try this out and see how this works. All right, so let's go ahead and give this a go. So you install the actual Mayo by plugging it into the computer and then just following the steps as given. Once it upgrades the firmware, you're all set and ready to go. So the next step is to actually just slide it onto your wrist and through your forearm and kind of at the fatty part of your forearm right here. At this point, you go ahead and sync it by doing this gesture right here. You'll hear a vibration. And after that, you're all set and ready to go. All right, so this is the Mayo Marketplace. Think of it almost as the Apple Store or the Play Store, in which it allows you to download different applications to actually use your Mayo. Now, this includes drone devices, as well as presentations like PowerPoint, YouTube, and as well as different kind of games. So let's go ahead and take a look. So under the featured here, we do see the Mayo with the Parrot 3.0. So this allows you to control the drone by using hand gestures, which is actually really cool. In addition, there's a Spiro version as well. And if you keep scrolling down, it actually shows you all the different things, including games like the Fruit Ninja, uh, Counter-Strike, and much, much more. Now there's also software such as music softwares, Netflix, uh, PowerPoint, Keynote, uh, even Google Earth. Now the first thing I want to show you is the Mayo Diagnostic page. Now this here actually shows you what you're actually looking at with the actual Mayo itself. So let's make a, this into a bigger screen. So over here we get a good idea of what's exactly going on. So let's say if I do a flex, you'll actually see the different pods and how they react to it. And literally when I do different poses, you can actually see that as well. So let's go ahead and exit out of this and take a little bit closer look at the different apps. All right, so this one is actually called Drunk Painting. So I've never played this game before, but from what I read about it, it's actually a two-player game in which both players actually have their own miles, and the key of the game is actually to paint as much as you can on the canvas itself. The player who gets the most wins. Okay, so... Begin. All right, let's try this out. Let's see if I can actually try painting something here. This is a very poor drawing of. I'm trying to actually paint a house right now. Ah, this is good. this is very difficult. Ah. For three seconds remaining. Okay, I'll go ahead and draw a tree. Yep, that's the tree. The whole drunk aspect of it is actually showing. Let's write conflicts. 
Uh, I cannot do that right now. <laughs> Five seconds. Uh, well, there you have it. That was the drunk painter game. Uh, very interesting indeed. So let's go ahead and try out another game. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and play a game called Aircraft Maniac. Um, literally, the way it works is you kind of fly the plane by doing this. Uh, you just gotta dodge obstacle courses. So let's go ahead and try this out. Now it says to double click uh, to start. I'm doing good, I'm doing good. Oh. So the way it works is you're flying and then if you do like a gesture you can actually slow down the plane for a split second by doing like this. difficult but uh kind of gives you an idea of what kind of game it is so let's go and try out something else okay so let's try out this game called crate whacker uh it says it looks like you're literally just whacking crates so let's go ahead and try this out all right so there's my whacker and then you just kind of <clears throat> all i'm doing is whacking crates it's a fun game <laughs> Yeah, so literally all you're doing is destroying crates. So uh, with that said, let's try out something a little different. All right, so besides the games, there's actually a lot of cool things you can do with this, including presentations, as well as creating your own gestures. And in this case here, what I want to show you now is actually the keyboard mapper. So if we click on this feature on the top right here, we can actually designate our own characters to each gesture. So for instance, uh, if I want to either like map a key or map a mouse click or map uh, a mouse, I can do anything like that with this simple gesture and just kind of follow through on it. Now, if you hook that up with a robot or a remote control car, it gives you full control over it. So we'll go ahead and try that out with Cosmo. All right, so in this example here, I'm gonna actually use my Mayo and try controlling our little buddy Cosmo over here just using hand gestures. So first we do a double tap. And then if I make a fist, and if I let go, he'll stop. Now, if I turn left, he'll turn left. And if I turn right, he'll turn right as well. All right, so in this feature here, we're gonna actually try controlling Cosmo just using one gesture. Now, what this is, actually I'm programming it with the mouse, and then I toggle it using the actual remote control app. Now, let's just go ahead and try this out. So all I do is double tap, and then if I look up, if I look down, up, down, <laughs> left, right, it's pretty cool on how that works. So just a little bit of an idea on how it works is that you can actually do this with pretty much any robot, not just Cosmo. So not even that, anything that's programmable with the computer, you have full control over it, which is really cool. All right, so in addition to everything else, it does give you a feature where you can just use it for simple browsing. So the way it works is you put your hand up and pretend like you're grabbing onto something and you're pulling it down. From here, you can actually select different features, including YouTube, Netflix, Facebook, etc. So in addition to that, there's also a very nice mouse feature. So what you do is you just go ahead and pull down that menu, scroll all the way up until you see my mouse, and then just select that. Now I have a control of the mouse. And I'm just, all I'm doing is just moving my hand. <laughs> so that's really cool. Now you can actually select things by uh, making a fist and then just use it as needed. So I can make a new folder and just kind of go based on that. So very interesting. All right, well that gives you an idea of what the Mayo is about. It's actually a really cool product, not to mention it actually has a lot of potential. Kind of reminds me of the next keyboard or the next mouse. 
Now, if you guys have any questions about the Mayo, feel free to comment down below. And if you actually wanted to purchase your very own, check out the link down below as well under robotshop.com. Thank you again for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.